going well today. I pray God's blessings upon you as you face this day. He promised to be with us, promised to walk with us and talk with us and give us everything that we have need of today. So we can spend this day just praising him and enjoying the beauty of his creation that I'm doing uh, up in the mountains. And uh, as you can see, the woods behind us, it is just an awesome, beautiful place here. But I want to look in chapter 12 of the book of Luke at verses 8 and 9. I want you to listen to what they say. Also I say to you, this is Jesus talking, whoever confesses me before men, him, the Son of Man, also will confess before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. Friends, that's, that's some strong words there. To confess Jesus before men, to openly state that we are a child of God, that we believe God is the creator of everything, that Jesus Christ was his son, that he came to earth and died for us, that we could have eternal life. To stand and confess him today, regardless of the consequences, is the way we honor God and we honor Christ. And he said, if you will do that, then when time comes, I will honor you and profess you before the Father. There are many stories around the world of people who gave their life because they refused to deny him. They refused to say that they were not a child of God. So today you and I must be ready at any time to stand before man and say that. So today, how do we do that? Hey, the way that we do that is by saying that, yes, I believe in God. I believe who he is. I trust in him. My heart is given to him. And today, we need to be willing to do that no matter what. And there's sometimes it may cost us, it may cost us friends, it may cost us family, it may cost us our jobs, it could cost us our life. Today, are you willing, am I willing, to pay the price if it was to come to that? On the other hand, he said, those who deny me before men, those who say that they don't believe Christ existed, they don't believe that there's a God in heaven, they don't believe there's a heaven and a hell, they don't believe we have to be saved and born again and covered by the blood to make it into heaven. He said, if you deny me, I will deny you. So today, which way are you standing? Do you profess him or do you deny him? The future and eternal rewards promised by God outweigh anything that could happen to us down here. Paul said, the trials and troubles I face here when compared to what awaits me in glory amount to nothing. Folks, we can't worry about what man may do to us down here. What we must be worried about is failing to please God and not live the life that we're required to live by the word. We remember eternity in heaven with Christ is our goal. Everything here in this world is temporary and one day will fade away. We burn up, the Bible says, and the only thing that's going to remain here is the word of God. He said, heaven and earth may pass away, but my word will endure forever. Romans 10 and 9 says, if we confess Jesus when we are saved, we must continue for the rest of our life to confess him. I want to flip over now to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. And I want to read that today and let you hear what it says. Verse, chapter 2, verse 11 and 12 in 2 Timothy. This is a faithful saying. For if we die with him, we shall also live with him. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. I pray today that you are professing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that you're not denying him. My friend, if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, today's the day to become a child of God. Go to Romans 10 and 9 and do what those words say, but mean them because just saying them won't do a thing. And mean them, and the Bible says you are saved, you're forgiven of your sins. And then let's profess him every day. Every time somebody says, are you a child of God? Stand there and say, yes, I am. Praise the Lord. I am a child of God. And today, we can lead someone to the Lord. I pray today that's our goal, and I pray today that that's what we can do. Lord, thank you today for your word. We pray that the Holy Spirit will give us the, the ability to stand strong and stand firm in a world that is so easy to deny you. May we ever profess you before man and prove to them that there is a God and show them 
how good you are to those who love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God richly bless you today is my prayer.